What's going on everybody? Josh Pocock here and in today's video we're going to be looking at OpenUI. This is an AI tool that allows you to build UI components right in the interface. You can prompt it, you can chat with it, sort of like artifacts that Claude has except it's a little bit different. I'm going to show you to self-host this and use it with uh, OpenAI, you can use it with Olama, you can use it with Grok, Go here, Mistral, Anthropic, whatever the case may be, let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so links for all this will be in the description as always, but we have open UI here. So basically um, it just says opening UI aims to make the process fun, fast and flexible for building UI components. And um, yeah, so open AI lets you describe UI with using your imagination, then see it rendered live. You can ask for changes and convert HTML to react, felt, uh, web components, etc. like the v0 but oh the, like um so we check out this so this is a tool v0 it's a uh, closed source and it's similar kind of but it actually is, has pricing to it so and they limit you with only 200 credits a month for the free version 5000 for the $20 a month version so this is essentially kind of an alternative to v0 which is by Vercel so pretty cool um and we'll get into showing you how to set it up in just a second but i really like the ui of it i like the interface um and even if before you want to install it you want to test it out you can actually go to a live demo on their website so if we go open that up you'll see uh this is it right here now you will have to log in with your github account so just log in to that's to enforce usage quotas and account is required so you just log in and then you actually be able to use it so I'm going to show you how to self-host it and there's different configurations you can do and you can use the different API keys and the docs will be here. If you have any questions, let me know, but, um, we're going to install it using the Docker method. This is their preferred method. This is a pretty easy method to do. And, um, you also could do it with Python from the source or from source Python. All right. And yeah, you can see, uh, different, um, things here basically going over different uh different models and different install methods etc but to get started we're just going to for one if you're on mac or linux you can export your a anthropic or open ai api key all right um so you would just run this command with your api key here now for windows it's a bit different it's um set x so i'll just show you i'll show you what that looks like all right, so there's like a couple different ways you could do it, but essentially what you would do is just go to your command prompt or command line and just run set X open AI uh, and then in uh, quotation marks, your API key here, this is for windows. All right, that will set up permanently as an environment variable. All right, um, you could also just go search up environment variables, um, environment variables and and change that there add it as a path or as a as a uh, environment variable okay so you can do that for both of those keys and then simply put you're just going to run this docker command right here open ui putting it to port 7878 if you need to change that if you need to port it to a different port you could just change the one on the left to whatever port you want and then you can see right here this is yeah this is the command so you would just copy this and then you would go and go to your command line and run this now i'm not going to run it because as you can see i'm running it right here okay so once you actually run it you will have it set up like this so as you can see it's uh it's a nice interface i like it it's you know dark mode which we always want um and yeah you can see the settings here you can change it right now i just have the open ai but we can do gpt 4.0 you can see the different settings here so supports vision so we attempt to detect if the model has vision capabilities you can override this if you're uh you're sure it does and then greetings so this is the uh, sy system prompt so you could change this this is their default one you could improve upon this if you think you actually if you could but let's just i'm not going to read the whole thing but Greetings, Tailwind. You've mastered the art of front-end design using Tailwind, etc. Desktop mobile design guidelines. 
use placeholder.co for placeholder images and descriptive alt text okay oh <laughs> it's kind of fun yeah so you inspired by shad cn we provide the following colors which handle both light mode and dark mode so yeah guys this is like something cool that you can use when you're building out your apps and um you know if you maybe don't if you maybe want to kind of create your own maybe get some inspiration from other libraries like shad cn or whatever you can do that um and yeah i, I mean Sad, sad cn inspired stuff to in the in this design prompt uh implementation rules html etc and then temperature so you could go ahead play with that if needed uh ui of course we're keeping that dark mode and then language there so once you do that um you can you have a new ui button up here and that's pretty much it you have your chats here which is similar to like how um like kind of design how open ai looks like or really any like chat model basically any gui we really we usually always see like a chats here uh the search bar here and upload photos um that's something i haven't actually tried yet like it's actually maybe a good idea let's just um maybe get like a otrello.com we'll just get a photo from there save image yeah, this, I guess this is more of a calendar one we're just going to grab. Please create a calendar UI like this. This is my first time trying the image one. Wow. Okay, this is pretty good. Like, pretty decent. I mean, it's definitely not perfect um you can see here i could just say make sure you have all the correct dates slash number of days for for each month okay so as you can see we can actually talk to it and tell it to improve so we got that now it's adding more days and it's probably not going to be perfect but this is like pretty cool starting point so now march has more days and okay so um let's do make add a toggle for light mode and dark mode in the top right okay so now we have this toggle even with a cool little image here so that's actually really awesome wow the so dark mode now we could say like make sure that the text is white there for the numbers when we toggle dark mode obviously i'm not making this perfect here let's say add a button with a pop up form on click to add events to the calendar okay so i mean you could really go ahead and push the limits on some of these things and test it out um so now it's generating and it's really nice that you can actually see it and chat to it um and it's what's even cool too is you can actually filter on uh you can do tablet mode um mobile mode so it's like responsive so that's actually really cool out of box so here we have sync to personal calendar i don't know oh here add event wow look at that we can add an event test this is actually pretty awesome like that's actually really cool because it like already has like the icons and everything like um i don't know i'm from my knowledge from like at least me playing around like i i think this has some stuff that claude sonic can't do or like the the uh artifacts just can't do natively but i could maybe be a bit wrong maybe maybe if you give it specific prompts like system prompt i don't know 
but um, either way for UI components, this is a specific dedicated tool that you can run locally and you can even run with open models like Olama. Um, you can use this with pretty much any model, right? Um, you just have to, you know, change up the config, but um, yeah, I think this is really cool. Like, look, like, look how quickly I just put this together. I took a screenshot, not perfect by any means, but that's what we can chat continue on for. And, um, and then over here, like I was, yeah. So here you can get like the HTML right here. You can see the source code right here. And, um, you can see HTML, JSX. Okay. I think I just messed something up. I think I moved some code around by accident, but you get the point. You could also just download the HTML. Uh, what's this? share this version toggle version history oh my gosh this is really cool that you can toggle version history of the chat so all in all i think this is a really really cool tool i'm actually really excited to use this more i mean it's not perfect by any means but i mean if you up right now this is gpt 4.0 i mean if we put clouds on 3.5 of course we're using api tokens but um i think you can get some very powerful stuff and uh, mobile responsive already at a box and um i mean yeah you could customize the uh, system prompt play around with it and even make it more custom for the specific app you're building whether it's Next.js, whether it's um whatever the case may be uh, uh svelte whatever right so other than that guys hope you got some value from this video that is open ui um yeah if you're new to the channel and you got some value here make sure to smash that subscribe button smash the like button we just actually surpassed uh yesterday 4,000 subscribers so that's a pretty big milestone on road to 10k i guess road to 5k first so let's um you know get there but uh right now we're at like 4,068 whatever so Appreciate all the new uh, support. You know, I'm glad that, you know, a lot of you are getting some value here from the channel. We upload videos every single day on AI, automation, business growth, uh, coding, development, um, really any, like the newest cutting edge technology when it comes to AI and business growth and marketing and sales and anything to even like make money stuff, make money online, all that stuff. We're covering it. We're going to cover more CRM stuff, go high level um business strategies etc you can expect a diverse amount of different content types and, and videos coming soon so uh yeah so other than that guys um yeah thanks for the support if you're new here smash the like button smash the subscribe button let me know in your comments in the comments down below if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions of future videos and then also too guys uh, if you haven't already joined our free community stridecommunity.com it's 100 free you just click the link below, join our free Facebook group, free Discord channel. You can get a bunch of value in there and network with like-minded individuals as well as myself. And also check out my book, Client Acquisition Code, link in the description down below if you want to get clients for your business using AI, using uh, prospecting methods, paid ads, etc. And then other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.